Color Die has a few components. Component one, it's eight megapixel camera connected by wire into a tiny laptop. The laptop have the software which instruct the camera to take an image every minute. After we did the research on what camera we're gonna use, we settled on um, uh, a small camera that is a CMOS sensor. The software tells the camera to go to sleep and wake up the next minute, shoot and go to sleep as well. Now, in order to send it in, into the internet, uh, I figure out a way of turning my cell phone into a hotspot. After working diligently for three years on the project comes the surgery. It's the moment that the camera get united with the body. Went into through the night of the first cut is that excitement. It is really happening and no way back from it now. And then when the surgery is done and I looked into the mirror, I was so excited to see the plate there. My name is Wafa Bilal. I'm a 42 year old. Um, I was born in Iraq in the city of Kufa. Uh, now I live and work in New York uh, as, as an assistant arts professor at New York University. A lot of my project deals with a very personal concern. Whether it's about politics, about technology, about social issues. And what I'm trying to communicate to my viewers that individual matter, the voice of individual matter. Today about tactical media. I do not want to force my ideas on people, but in return, what I do, I create platforms. They could be an installation in a gallery, they could be on my own body, they could be on the internet. The objective of that is to engage people in a political or social important dialogue. My job as an artist no longer to create things, but to create an event that could be very much engage people in a dialogue and have them be part of the story. I'm from Iraq, so leaving Iraq behind with no record of any sort. I really wanted to pay attention to the places we leave behind. The duration of the project is one year. It started on December 15 of 2010 and it's going to end on December 15 of 2011. I think the total amount of images may be over 500,000 images. In 1991, Saddam invaded Kuwait. In fact, I was on the run, did not allow uh, uh, Saddam's regime to capture me. And from one place after another, I end up in a refugee camp in Saudi Arabia for two years before arriving to United States in 1992. It's just lots of friends and family members. And it's like it's and leaving the camp it's the day we left. I'm that guy with the mustache. One of the things that happened to me in my life that profoundly changed my life forever is the loss of my brother, uh, Haji, in 2004 when he was killed by an American drone plane in Iraq. Well, I, I left Iraq when I was uh, 
25 and my brother Haji was about 10 year old. So I always um, regret I did not see him growing up. The project is teaching me something so important. We always think about it, just like what is going to uh, do next. But what if we think this way? What if we think, what if we existed in this moment?